hello guys welcome to the next video on android sqlite database tutorial for beginners and in this video we will see how to delete data in sqlite database using our android app so let's get started till now we have seen how to insert data how to update data and how to view data in sqlite database so let's add a new button and we will call this button as delete data so let's change the text of this button as delete and the button ID will change it to button delete okay now once we have this button what we are going to do is we are going to uh, go to our database helper class which we have uh, made in our previous videos and in this class we will uh, create a new function and we will call it as delete data function or method as we say in java so let's uh, call it a public function which will return integer and we will call it as delete data function for example and it will take one argument and this argument will be the id of our table okay so we know that we have four columns as I always mentions in our database table. One is ID, name, surname and age. This table we have been working on. And we want to delete the data on the basis of ID because ID is our primary key here. Primary key means the unique identifier on the basis of which we can recognize the data which we want to uh, affect in, a, in this case we want to delete this data right so that's why this function uh, delete data will take this ID as an argument now the first thing which we will do is we are going to create the SQLite database object using this get writable database which we have done in the last videos also right so just copy this and paste it here okay and the next thing is uh, we will take this database instance to delete the data so take db here and we are going to call delete on uh, this database instance and this delete takes three arguments one is the name of your table so let's uh, press control and go inside this delete function first of all and then let's see uh, what it takes so this delete function takes the name of your table and then second argument is the where clause and the third argument is the value which you want to pass as a string array and uh, in return it returns the number of affected rows if the data is deleted or number of rows which are deleted otherwise if no data is deleted it returns zero okay so we are going to use this return integer to check how many rows are affected or if uh, any rows are affected or not and on the, the basis of this we can print the result right so we will come back to our database helper class and first argument we will pass it as the table name our table name is student table so we will take the table name variable and pass it as a first argument second argument is the clause and clause is in this case is we want to delete the data on the basis of ID right and the ID column name in our case is ID here right so you can uh, take this ID and we want to ask for the id so we will ask what is the id like this id is equal to question and then this question mark will be replaced by the value we are going to pass here as a third argument so this will be the new string array and here we will pass the id the value of id which we take from here and this is going to delete your data now we are seeing here I'm re returning integer so you can just write return because this delete method in the 
SQLite database class returns the integer, right? So this is the uh, method we want to create in database helper class. Now what we are going to do is we are going to go to our main activity dot Java class where we will write our code for the button uh, press, right? So first thing we are going to do is we are going to declare one more button variable and we will uh, name it as button delete for example. And now we are going to cast this button in our on create method. So in here I'm going to copy this and I'm going to just cast this button delete and change the ID. So ID dot button delete. Okay. Now next thing is as we uh, always do is we will create a function which will be a public function and it's going to return nothing and we will name it as delete data function and it's going to take no argument and in here what we are going to do is we are going to take our button delete variable dot set on click listener and we will create a new on click listener and in here what we want to do is we just want to call our delete data function right so here what we are going to do is we are going to declare an integer variable and we will call it as deleted rows right is equal to and then we are going to take the object of our my database class or database helper class which is my db in our my case dot we will call this delete data function which we have created just now right and this takes one argument which is id so let's see what is the id of this edit text id so this is edit text id itself right so we will just write edit text id okay now we are going to take the text from it so we will call get text function here and then we are going to convert this into string right so whatever this function returns we will check how many number of rows are affected if this deleted rows not equal to zero that means some rows are deleted or better we can say is greater than zero okay if this is greater than zero then what we are going to do i will copy this to save some time and we are going to uh, create a toast which will show the message like this data deleted and if this uh, deleted row is equal to zero so if number of rows deleted is equal to zero or less than zero then we say data not deleted okay so this is our uh, function which we want to create in our main activity dot java file and don't forget to copy this and paste it in your on create method so call this function in your on create method and now we are going to uh, run this program so let's run it so now our app is running first of all let's see uh, what data we have so we will click view all and uh, right now we have uh, two rows right one is uh, id1 and one is id2 so let's uh, delete this id2 data for example right so what we need to do is we will just go to this id added text and we will uh, just write two here okay and now what we are going to do is we will just click delete and it says data deleted and we will see uh, once again all the data so we will click view all and now only one row is uh, remaining here so that means it has deleted our row number two or id2 data okay in the same way if you write here one 
and click delete it will delete the row one or row with id one so in this way you can delete the data in sqlite database using your android app i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now